Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I got some really good deals, some new food finds, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's jump into the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. What you don't see is a 24 pack of Diet Coke for Troy. It is already out in the garage. And this week I shopped at my local Fry's store, which is a Kroger store. So the first thing I picked up is some extra creamy whipped cream. I like this on my yogurt bowl. I do give it to my dogs as well. I saw this candle from the brand Tuscany. The packaging of this is so pretty. It's in the scent Pink Grapefruit, and it was on clearance for $5.95. It smells really good. Very summery, very fresh, very fruity. I couldn't pass it up. And then I did grab these cookies. You guys know I like to stop by the reduced bakery section. These are really good. They're just a really thinly frosted sugar cookie. They were $2 and 79 cents. I also got some killer meat deals. They had the Laura's ground beef. This is the no antibiotic, kind of bougie ground beef. They had it on clearance for 501 a package. So I grabbed all three packages that they had. Whenever I pick up reduced meat, I always just throw it in the freezer. And that way you don't have to spend twice as much. You can pick it up for a better deal. And that's the same with my chicken. I actually need this for my meal prep. I was just gonna get regular chicken and then I saw this one in the reduced section. So $7.55 normally $16, so about half off. And again, I'm just going to package it up into one pound bags. I put them in Ziploc bags, throw them in the freezer. It's a great way to save money on meat. And then I haven't had Cheez-Its in a hot minute. I miss them. So I got some cheeses. They were two for five. So I did the original and then my favorite is actually the extra toasty. I also picked up some Barilla Protein Plus Rotini Pasta. This is for a recipe. I have not placed my nutrition order for my fiber gourmet pasta. I definitely need to do that. But this is the second best. This one's just a lot more calories than the fiber gourmet. This one's 190 and the fiber gourmet is 110. So it's more points and calories, but at least it has a punch of protein. And then I also picked up the Back to Nature Wheat Crackers. This is for meat, cheese, and crackers. I love these. These are basically a dupe to the tryst, to the wheat thin. Just a better brand, better ingredient. I also saw these in the clearance section. I had to get them. They're from the brand Good Crunch. They are banana bites. It's 110 calories per serving, which is half of a cup. Nice clean ingredients. I was looking to see if there was any oil or anything. I can't see that. It might be under the tag. I'm going to look at this. If it's literally just dried bananas, I would count it as zero point. Also in the clearance section, I found this. I have no idea why it was in the clearance section, but it was $4.90, which is a really good deal. They actually had another one that they had reduced to seven something. So I don't know why this one was four. $4.90, but I have a jar on my counter right there where I have the unreal little coconut patties and some little packs of cookies from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna fill it up with this, and then also while we're in design and doing things with the house, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share with the contractors and our design agent, and again, can't pass that up for $4.90. If you can have it in your house and keep it to Halloween, if you see these at your local Kroger store, grab them because great deal for Halloween candy. I also picked up the country potato salad for Troy. He likes this potato salad the best and it was reduced, so I grabbed it. And then for my meal prep for my dessert, I needed a no sugar or lower sugar cake mix. And then I need some more ground flax. Mine was almost gone and it was expired. So I picked up another bag. This is the Bob's Red Mill Organic Ground Flax Meal. The typical two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. And then I got another Another container of cottage cheese. I need that for a recipe and I've been back in my cottage cheese era and I've been eating it almost every day. So I picked up another one as well as a Daisy Light Sour Cream. You know we always like to have sour cream on hand and we are out so I grabbed that. I grabbed the Sargento Ultra Thin Cheese. These are three for seven I think. So like three fifty a pack, three for five. I don't know. I don't know the price but I wanted the thin mild cheddar for my breakfast sandwiches and then I needed mozzarella for a recipe and I was going to spend eight dollars. 
dollars and then I saw this one for $4.79. It doesn't expire for quite a while so it'll be good to go for my meal prep because that's what I need it for. And I also picked up some pesto for a recipe. This one from Barilla has the lowest calories, 190. All of the other ones were 210 to 250. So Fun fact, if you buy the Barilla one, you're gonna save yourself some calories. And then for produce, I grabbed some sweet tomatoes for a recipe, a couple of big fresh lemons. Strawberries right now are 90, 97 cents a piece, which is great. So I picked up two pounds. I actually need them for my meal prep dessert. And then we are doing BLTs this week, so I picked up some lettuce for that. The rest of my grocery haul for the week comes from Misfits Market and Perfect Foods. They have combined to be the same company. Love them. I usually order from them a couple of times a month. You can get some really good deals. I've found some really great new food finds I would have never known about. And I actually have quite a few new to me things in my haul from Misfits Market slash Imperfect Food. If you use the link in the description box, you'll get $15 worth of free groceries. So in this grocery economy, we could definitely use $15. No shipping, and it is delivered directly to your doorstep. So let me show you what I grabbed. So I picked up some pasta. This is the Cavatappi pasta, which is that fun kind of spiral noodle. I do have a couple pasta salad recipes that I would like to make. I also love this chocolate. It's my favorite in the whole world from Tony's Chocoloni. It's like a salted milk chocolate. It's so good. I just eat one or two little squares, satisfies the sweet tooth, absolutely delicious. And then I got the odds and ends plain Greek yogurt. I really like this Greek yogurt. It's really affordable and it's a little thinner consistency so it makes it great for recipes. And then I also grabbed some more Good Culture cottage cheese because you know I love my Good Culture and it was actually cheaper through Misfits Market than at the grocery store. Same with the Kerrygold butter. I really want Troy to start using this instead of margarine. So I grabbed it. I thought he could try it. It's softer. He doesn't want to cut from a chunk of butter, but if it comes in like a margarine consistency, I'm hoping I can get him to switch over. I also grabbed some crushed onions with tomatoes and some diced tomatoes just to restock my pantry. This is from the brand Sweet Nothings. I love this brand. I used to order this brand all the time. They're like a low sugar candy. And this is the Nut Butter Bites. I'm really excited to try these. We'll try these out together in a video. And then I got some cheese, which basically is like string cheese, but it's the little Tillamook cheese wedges. We love cheese in this house. We go through a lot of it. So I picked those up and then I was really excited to see these. I love Pipcorn. You guys know how much I love the Pipcorn brand. These are the savory onion twists. I love the barbecue ones, the cinnamon sugar ones, so I'm so excited to try these. Just better ingredients. They're 120 calories a serving, and I love a good sour cream, savory onion, anything, so I'm excited for those. And then I also grabbed Catalina Crunch, the pairings. This is the blueberry muffin cereal with blueberries. I live for Catalina Crunch. It goes on my yogurt bowl, and I have a yogurt bowl almost every day. And this was, again, a really good price. Also grab some organic rolled oats. My fries does not sell organic oats. They sell organic steel cut oats, but not rolled oats, which is super weird. And I always buy my rolled oats organic because they are heavily sprayed with the active ingredient in Roundup. So oats is one thing I always like to buy organic. And then this is new to me from the brand Soli. I love Soli. They make dried fruit with no added sugar. Well, I found these organic banana bitcoins. So basically they're just like a diced up banana dried and all the only ingredients are bananas so that would be zero points on ww again makes a great way to get in fruit on the go and lastly i got a caesar salad kit because that is one of my very very favorite ways to eat salad so again i do have 15 dollars worth of free groceries with misfits market and perfect foods i'll link it down below for you so here's what is on my menu for the week so i'm making a pesto chicken pasta salad. You guys will actually see that recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. And like I said, we're going to do a BLT night. And then for Monday's meal prep for my breakfast, I'm making lemon sour cream waffles. Doesn't that sound so good? And for lunch, I'm doing turkey apple mini meatloaf. And then for dessert, I'm making strawberry dump cake. So again, stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from my local fries, Kroger store, new food finds, great deals. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Again, turn your bell on because I upload five videos every week and we do a grocery haul every Saturday. Down in the description box is nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Saturday and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.
Bye.